Uh, you have to run. They're coming. The darkness is coming. Why is that? Y'all are being super paranoid today. Super goofy. Wait, 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 no, no, everyone, be careful. They're coming. They're coming for all of you. Don't bother running. <laughs> it's already too late. All right, peeps, I know I'm behind schedule and I missed the 23rd. Sorry. So let's not waste any more time with intros and let's get straight into this. I've got five different subjects I want to get into for the ARG today. We'll start from the top, which unfortunately means we're starting before the 23rd, so we'll get to that in a minute. Now, of course, we've talked about clones a lot already, but we've talked more about what they're going to do and how they'll do it, and haven't touched the idea of the clones themselves much. Who they are, where they come from, etc. But now we've got some lore that'll answer questions like that for us. The video you're seeing now is called Rebirth.mp4 and shows the creation of clones, which reveals so many little bits of lore about the clones and the creators themselves. I'll just go through all eight of them, yes, eight, not six, one by one, and we'll just take a look at all the little details. So we can see here in this first attempt on Royal Pair that it just fails after it completes for some reason due to error R34. Don't ask any questions. The second attempt succeeds, but it creates what we know from a different video is called the prototype. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Royal Pair and I like making tier lists, playing tier lists, playing tier lists, list, playing. This one's a failure. We're out of time. We need to use the prototype. So now we know why Royal Pair's clone looks so messed up. Clone number two is Johnny Razor, and this one goes flawlessly. Nothing bad happens, and they create the clone just as they wanted to. And now we see subject three is Mog Swamp, who was mentioned in the very first message video, but we haven't seen him upload at all. Apparently he has a firewall, which probably also has to do with the reason that he's not uploading and hasn't been mentioned at all in the ARG except for message. Next up is Bun Dun, and just like Johnny, he is cloned perfectly. Nothing goes wrong. Next up is K and Splash, who, just like Mog Swamp, hasn't uploaded and also errors out, and he gets no clone. He has a firewall. This just confirms that Mog Swamp and K and Splash are both part of the ARG. It's just that their part in the ARG is playing characters who actually listen to the instructions from the first place and never uploaded any more videos. Next up is Failure, and his clone looks a bit strange, but it works. Now, number seven might be the most interesting of them all. It's Joe. He's the only one who has both uploaded more videos, but has not accepted Clone VPN sponsor. And he errors out as well, for whatever reason. I've heard many people say that because of this error, he's going to be the hero and the protagonist of the ARG. I think it's a little early to call that, but it's definitely a possibility. The last clone created is Riggy, and it goes about as planned at first but then it errors out and still manages to create the clone, but the machine kind of breaks, and the clone is a little bit corrupted, as we've already seen. There is one more video about clones, titled clonebrain.mp4, but good luck getting any lore out of it. Cause we don't, we don't, we don't have any Swedish fish. Drop the Swedish fish at that. So yeah, this fever dream doesn't really have all that much lore for us, I don't think. But there is one little thing we can get from it, which is that it's titled Clone Brain. So I think the idea of this video here is it's showing us what's going on inside of the clones' brains, hence the name. And it shows how the clones are just designed to mimic this stereotypical, quote, meaningless slop that is YouTube Shorts, in this case. This is confirmed in a new video titled Phone Call to MP4, in which the description states that the clones' brains only see the content. And don't worry, we'll come back to that video in a minute. As always, if you want to watch these full videos for yourself, I have a playlist in the description that has all the different ARG videos so far. And now there's a Discord server too, so if you want to come chat with a bunch of other chaotic theorists, you can find that in the description too. Phew, well, that was one of five parts, so let's get on to the main attraction now, shall we? The 23rd. Of the five clones we saw get created, we have seen four of them replace the original YouTube creators. We have seen Failure's clone, but we never saw him actually replace Failure. It was more like one day you had Failure making videos, the next the clone was streaming. As for the other four, we can see all of their replacements, and we can make a quick analysis on all of them. Royal Pair's replacement was pretty simple. Near the end of one of his streams, the stream just bugged out and then went black for like 20-30 seconds. And then at the end of that, the clone showed itself and the stream ended. 
Fun Nuns was also very simple, having taken place in only a single short. He just suddenly got pulled under the table, and as we've seen before, his clone had been hiding under the table, and then his clone gets up and sits in the chair. And now, boys, you already know what the biggest and most interesting replacement was. What? 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 <laughs> there, I got, am, am, am I dreaming? Is this real? Is that, is that <laughs> Like there's no way, there's no way that this is real. There, there's no. Hey, hey. Uh, let's be cool here. You put, just, just put it down. I, I don't want any problems. Now then, where were we? So yeah, Johnny's clone came in and tried to kill him, but don't worry boys, he's not dead yet, but we'll come back to that in a minute. After this, Johnny's clone attempted to like control the stream after that, but he had no idea what he was doing and trying to build the PC that Johnny had already started, so he gave up after a little bit. The last one up is Riggy's replacement, and there was nothing super special about the replacement itself in this one. Riggy just realizes the clone is right behind him and then gets glitched out and the clone replaces him. The interesting part is a couple things that happens around it. First, right after he gets replaced, Dano doesn't realize that Ricky's been replaced, and he himself doesn't get replaced. Which means that Dano is kind of fine right now. And the other interesting thing is that Ricky, right before getting replaced, realized everything. He realized everything that was going on around him. He is completely self-aware now, which is a good time to seg into the next section of this video, which is all about this idea of self-awareness. Now, this is a super small topic. I just wanted to touch on it really quick here. Now, throughout our ARG, our characters have shown very little self-awareness about themselves. Johnny has been aware of everything going on around him, but he's been in denial about the truth and has just been blaming it on stuff like his computer or whatever, and not realizing that there is actually something big going on here. Royal Pair also showed a little bit of self-awareness before getting replaced, but other than that, none of the creators realized at all what was going on around them until after getting replaced, except for Riggy. And this is super interesting to me because, in a way, Riggy is kind of a side character, right? I mean, this ARG is about the YouTube Shorts creators, and Riggy's not a creator, he's a character created by one of the creators. I'm sure this has something to do with the fact that he's the only self-aware one, but I'm not sure what it is, though I do have one theory. And it has to do with something I've already talked about in a short before. Computer theory. Here's the basic idea of the theory. After all the creators got cloned and replaced, where did they get put? Where are they right now? Well, if my theory is correct, then I know exactly where they are. Now, a couple of them are super easy. We've seen Johnny after he got shot. He uploaded a short saying that he survived the shots because he had this big metal orb in his shirt that blocked all the shots. And now he's just hiding in the same room that he streamed his Help Me Build a PC stream in. Also, in Bun Dun's newest short, we get to see Bun Dun tied up underneath his desk where the clone had been hiding and then dragged him under when the clone replaced him. So those two are accounted for, but the other three are kind of missing right now. Besides a picture of failure and a couple glimpses of the other two, we haven't seen them at all after they got replaced. But that specific picture of failure led me to a conclusion here. Basically, I believe that these three short creators have been put inside their computers, and maybe Johnny and Bun Dun aren't far behind. But it makes sense, doesn't it? We've seen Johnny get put inside of a video before, not just like filming it, but actually put inside. And same thing with Dano when he got moved over from his channel to Royal Pairs. And I'm not talking Riggy there, I'm talking actually Dano himself. We're dieting. Speaking of dieting, we have spinach. Twinkie started to become forgotten. Yeah, it happened again! Wait, 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 where are we? How are you doing this? So I don't think it's unrealistic at all to think that CloneVPN has some sort of way to move actual physical people into a video. This would mean that both Failure and Royal Pair have been put inside of the computers, and Riggy has also kind of been trapped away, but Riggy was already in the computer in the first place, remember? Once again, he's not a Schwartz creator, he is a character. So, as I was saying earlier, this might actually be the reason why he's self-aware about everything and everybody else isn't, because they can't see the glitches and stuff around them because they're not in the videos. I think this theory also helps explain how Royal Perry is sending us messages even though he doesn't have complete control over his channel. He's working from the inside based off of what the clone is already doing. Alright boys, last part. What all has happened since the 23rd? Well first, obviously the clones have taken control. They are now running all five of the creator's channels, and if you watch their videos, you'll see that there is something messed up in almost every single one of them. 
One of the things that they've done is that yesterday on Monday, every single one of those channels uploaded an advertisement for Clone VPN. The clones all made these videos and it was like they were all reading off the exact same script. They all sound like they were saying the exact same thing for Clone VPN. You're in danger? On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimate of 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Seriously. So many websites, hackers, even the government are on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc. To get your personal information to either sell it to the highest bidder or to use it against you. And this is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. And at the end of each of the videos, they all give a sort of promo code that you could theoretically use in Clone VPN. However, there is no spot on the Clone VPN website that you can use the code, and our Discord server has tried every single different combination of those first two letters in the code to try to get a YouTube link, and nothing's working. So this is a part that we're really stuck on right now, so if anybody has any idea of what's going on, please join the Discord and tell us, because we're so lost. It's important to note here, though, that the clones don't have complete control over the channels. Now, some of them do. Johnny's clone has got complete control, Pundun's clone has complete control, etc. But like, Royal Pear's clone? He doesn't have complete control at all. Royal Pear's been sending us a lot of messages. He told us that he was alive using Morse code in one video. This week, I'll prove it. And then in another video, he also used Morse code to tell us to check his channel banner. There one. The banner just shows us another instance of the clones not having complete control. The banner itself was obviously made by the clone, but it has a little message at the bottom that comes from the real royal pair. And then this message that he left leads to another video on his VOD channel that came out a day or two after he left the message. Okay, so I don't know how much time I have. I'm in like a facility or something. I've already concluded that I've been cloned and the clone is now running my channel, which means the live stream chatters were right. I am alive though. If you're seeing this message, that either means you checked my VOD channel or you saw my new banner. I picked up on the clone's patterns and I found out that he doesn't lock his door when recording shorts, which gives me time to plant a message or change one small thing on the channel. I have no idea what the hell is going on and I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Wait, what? Royal Pair? Is that you? So somehow Clone Pair and Riggy are now in the same area and it's some sort of industrial factory thing. This kind of single-handedly breaks down my computer theory for everybody except for Failure, who I still think is very much inside a computer, unless for some reason the inside of the computer, like being inside the software, looks like you're in a factory. I'm not exactly sure how that would work though, obviously. Now, as I'm recording this, a bunch of new discoveries are being made in our Discord, but I'm not going to go into it all right now. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to focus on one last thing. Remember how I talked about control in the second video in this series? Well, that theme is showing back up again, except this time is about losing control, because as we've already seen, the clones don't have complete control over the YouTube Shorts creators and their channels, but at the same time, Clone VPN is losing control of their own clones. In those exact same two Royal Pair Shorts that I showed earlier where he left a secret message at the end, well, his clone, who originally made both those videos, actively rebels during both of them. It's already too late. Guys, you don't have to worry. I'm here. I don't even get why this is a big deal. There's nothing Royal Pair can do that I can't. Over the course of this next week, I'll prove it. All websites on the internet are malicious or are out to get you. Oh, do I really have to do this ad read? Yes. What did VPNs Seriously. actually do? Dog, I really don't want to promote this. Why the Quack. are you making me do this? Just read the script. Fine. And he's not alone. There's another secret video called Phone Call to MP4 in which this clone makes a phone call to, well... You'll see, but he mentions that there's somebody else who agrees with him, but he doesn't say who because it gets like redacted. I don't know about you, but I want to do something more, and it feels the same way. I get we exist for a single purpose and all, but isn't there more to existing than just making shorts? I've been getting in trouble for not keeping the same upload schedule as the others, but I mean, isn't that kind of an oversight? If we're made for only one single purpose, why even let us have the thought to do something else? I guess Johnny was successful and Briggy maybe? That dude creeps me out. Now, obviously I can't just go out on my own. At least I'm pretty sure I can't. But I'm not gonna live like this. Something has got to change. What if I wasn't the clone anymore? 
you know, I'm I'm being ridiculous, and I'm talking too much. Do you have anything to add? Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. Now, besides bringing up a kind of major philosophical point about clones and then ending it with one of the most perfectly timed memes known to mankind, this phone call is actually giving us some insight on what's going to happen in the future because the entire thing just screams foreshadowing. It sure sounds like the Royal Pair clone is tired of working for Clone VPN and is instead going to go and do his own thing and just take control of Royal Pair's channel for himself. Now, a bunch of people have also proposed the idea that the clone is going to turn to the shorts creator's side and help them escape. Because of what he says about, you know, trying to do something on his own, I'm not so sure about that, but once again, definitely a possibility. Phew, well that was by far my longest video ever. We didn't touch on Joe much, but there's not much to go off of right now on him. Just know that he doesn't have a clone, and he has not yet accepted any offer from Clone VPN for sponsorship. And hopefully, he doesn't. Thanks for watching this, and for all the support, guys. And I promise I will at least try to make the next video come out on time. See ya.